So if we look a little further into how the shoulder blade interacts with the neck during mouse use, I've got model of a shoulder blade here. I've got my neck, which is the seven uppermost vertebrae on this spine model. I've got the base of skull. So typically what happens when we use the mouse, we get into this arm reach position. Um, our shoulder blade can become downwardly rotated. It can become anteriorly tilted or, or that round shouldered sort of position. And it can become depressed. It can actually drop down. So what tends to happen when the shoulders getting away from the neck like this, the muscles that suspend the shoulder blade from the neck, they get into a lengthened position. And we know when muscles are lengthened, they have the tendency to become weaker uh, and dysfunctional. So the beauty about this is we can reverse these patterns. So we can strengthen the muscles that connect the blade to the neck to get into upward rotation, into posterior tilt, and a little bit of elevation. So the following exercises I'll take you through will help to facilitate those good positions and keep your arm strong. Quarter shrug is a great way to facilitate the upward rotation of the shoulder blade. So we get a, a small weight, a light dumbbell, one or two kilos. Uh, we're standing with the arm out to the side, about 20, 30 degrees away from the body. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt my shoulder blade back a little bit. And then I'm thinking about an arc from the tip of my shoulder up to the back of my skull. Uh, and I'm just quarter shrugging up along that arc, not too high. Uh, and just making sure we get that upward rotation of the shoulder blade. I'm going to hold there for endurance, so five to ten second hold, and then I'm going to release. The posterior tilt exercise with TheraBand is a good way to get rid of that rounded shoulder position that you might get from the mouse use. So uh, I'm going to get some TheraBand, so some flat band, and pop my arm into the band. So it's going to sit just around my upper shoulder in a step back. Uh, I'm going to take my arm out to 20, 30 degrees again, and this time I'm going to focus on setting my shoulder back into that band. So I'm pushing the back of my shoulder joint, my shoulder blade, back into the band. I'm holding there for five seconds, and then I'm going to release. I'm going to try and get 20 reps of those. I should feel the muscles working in through the back of the shoulder. So the banded W exercise is a great way to strengthen that suspensory mechanism of your shoulder blade. So I've got some green band. You may need to start with red if green's a little too hard. Uh, I'm gonna hold the band in each hand, bringing my arms up towards 90 degrees. Then I'm pulling on the band into a row type position. Then I'm adding in external rotation and I'm holding in that W position. Five seconds, then release. Come back. Set again, pull back, rotate into external, 